Welcome back to Real Beast. I'm Faison, and today we're diving deep into the highly anticipated GTA 6 trailer. Rockstar Games has teased us with some tantalizing glimpses, and in this video, we'll be doing a complete breakdown, analyzing every frame, and speculating on what the next installment of the Grand Theft Auto series might have in store for us. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future gaming updates. Ready? Let's break down the GTA 6 trailer. The first GTA 6 trailer has arrived with even more drama than anticipated. After a leaked version of the long-awaited trailer unfortunately leaked onto the internet, Rockstar made the official 91-second segment live around 15 hours earlier than planned. All of which means you might have missed a thing or two. The 1 minute 30 second video confirms the game will be released in 2025. The official trailer has racked up more than 80 million views in less than 24 hours on YouTube and been the top trending video on the site. Grand Theft Auto Vi has, after years of speculation, officially been revealed. The game is scheduled to arrive in 2025 and Rockstar's next open world epic will take us back to Vice City for another adventure filled with carjacking, murder, robbery, and other assorted crimes. Me meet this through packs members that all the first trailer for the game is short, but it still packs in quite a bit of information regarding the game's setting, main characters, and activities. Below, we break it all down so you can get a sense of just what you're in for the game launches. Grand Theft Auto games use fictional cities for their settings, but they are heavily, heavily inspired by real locations. Vice City is based on Miami, Florida, and the debut Grand Theft Auto V trailer uses Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty to set the mood. Petty was from Gainesville, Florida? And given the lovers against the world vibes, we're getting from the trailer. The song Our hero seems is called fitting. Lucia. But the male character remains it. Here are two main characters this time, with the female protagonist, Lucia taking center stage with the name introduction right up front in the trailer. She also seems to have a criminal past already being introduced in a prison inmate uniform. The male character isn't named yet, but was called Jason in previous leaks. It seems all but confirmed. There are a couple thanks to a shot of Lucia atop a shirtless Jason, while a voiceover claims the only way we're getting through this is sticking together, after which both characters say trust themes and storylines in GTA. From the trailer, it seems the Luca-based storyline will follow a Bonnie and Clyde formula with gas station robberies, holdups, and plenty of running from the police. It's unclear how the storyline links up to those other themes seen in the first trailer, including the high rollers and social media accounts featured throughout. But if we were to follow the GTA 5 formula, we'd expect the upcoming trailers to hint at alternative character-based storylines so far. We know the name of the would-be protagonist, Lucia, who first appears in prison wearing inmate clothing at the beginning of the trailer. She's later joined by her partner in crime who remains unnamed in trailer one. We see the city name Leonida mentioned plenty of times throughout the trailer, which indicates this is likely the Alos Santos equivalent. This includes a shot where a tattooed man's face appears on screen with the headlines, translating to confession written in ink we're tattoo see. A tattoo on his neck that be we always knew that anything Rockstar makes would have a vast range of vehicles to inevitably steal and joyride in. But even in this 90 second trailer, there's a ton to spot. So let's take a breath and here's the list of every vehicle we've spotted so far. Jumbo jets, speedboats, trucks, cars that can tow boats, yachts, jet skis, quad bikes, biplanes, helicopters, hoverboats, amphibious helicopters, cargo ships, motorbikes, cruise ships, seaplanes, monster trucks, bike hother, and a whole host of sports cars, pickup trucks, minivans, vans, and other more traditional cars. Trade himself key to the conviction of a man from Leonida. The GTA 6 map is going to be very large. That's all we can really glean in an official capacity. As the trailer demonstrates that there's a huge variety of different locations, but not much more information is given. Vice City looks extremely densely packed and is leaps and bounds ahead of how it looked in Guy. Vice City, Vice City. But it still retains its core identity, such as the multiple islands connected by bridges and the main promenade, as well as a very large and packed beach. Air physics. Hair has long been one of the most difficult things to animate in video games, and it appears Rockstar is anxious to show Players, the progress it has made with GTA Vi, we get a brief glimpse of this in the trailer, with a clawed woman shaking her head as her hair flows from side to side. It also casts a realistic shadow on her shoulder. Be penting and enjoying crime together. Or it. It appears Rockstar is riffing on the popular app Citizen in Grand Theft Auto Vi, which allows people to report crimes in their area. The app is currently very popular in the United States. And we see a notice from an official government account about 43 seconds in that shows an animal control agent attempting to remove an alligator from a swimming pool. In your dive, if GTA 6 is bringing all of Florida to life, then there's a chance we could be getting Red Dead Redemption 2 levels of wildlife. Dogs are confirmed thanks to a tiny chihuahua running along the beach while flamingos, alligators, dolphins, and sharks all make an appearance. If the Florida Everglades appear as well, which is heavily implied by the airboat, scattering flamingos as it tears past, 
then that's a massive area full of different habitats. Everything from panthers to bears, deer, turtles, manatees, and more live there in real life, meaning Dada 6 could have a hugely varied animal population. There are also plenty of low riders, and what seems to be new custom vehicles is part of the Thrillbilly Mud Clubs with big American pickup trucks lifted on monster truck style wheels and tires. If you look closely, you'll also see several AT vehicles in the background. It looks like we've got a glimpse at least three clear factions, with the Thrillbilly Mud Club and High Rollers Lifestyle named Outright. The former appears to be a dirt truck mud racing group, while the latter is a street racing group with high-end performance cars. Dainty. There's also what looks like a gang of cycles, an ATV riders racing down a road in a pack, and a news bulletin mentioning a dirt bike gang terrorizing dirt city. It seems social media and shorts video channels similar to TikTok are taking center stage with the trailer showcasing several accounts. Extra set spots quite shows. A skein of party animals on a boat. Zakik. RCZ astral poach it shows. So sucky wrangling an alligator. Out of the shelf. Havoc today shows a woman twerking on the roof of a car. XH to Plants Lakeland Edelman shows a person running from the police near a gas station. Zollier General Custard Cannon shows a person outside a car grabbing their junk. XS Yo Mammoth Jammer shows a person possibly called G Things M E Reedy riding on the side of a car. Late callbacks to past games. A few two callbacks to previous Grand Theft Auto games are included in the trailer. Around 34 seconds in, you can see a very small glimpse of the Ocean View Hotel, which served as the first safe house in the original Vice City game. Later, a Liberator monster truck can be seen during a mudding event. These were included in San Andres, and also appeared in Grand Theft Auto v Vehicles. <laughs> the trailer showcases several returning vehicles to the game, including Jers, Bravado Banshee 900, De Class A Tulip, Riven by Lucia in the trailer, Saber Turbo, IP Consipi, Roddy Cheetah, Grody Kubota's Air, Eifert Comb, S2 Yo Cabrio, IKO, I go, Masonic, Cypress is Tusk Tree X, Obey Tail Gear, Liberator, Gauntlet Hellfire, Shafter V12, Coquette D10, Benefactor Dubstyle, Alpine Cavalcade, Anis Hellion, Comet Retro Custom, Snagathur Now, The Willard Faction Custom Donk, Vapid Sanking X, Virgo Classic Custom. Bikes. And Sanchez. <laughs> Planes Cloppers. Maverick. <laughs> Duding. Buckingham. Super Valido Carbon. You about us at pressure. Hey Sparrow. Boats Watercraft. Tanapi. Hey Shirk. Yachts. It also adds several new vehicles that appear to represent. 2023. Chrysler 300 Sea Arrest. 2020 2023. Audi QC. Seven. 2023, Lamborghini Aventador Civ J. Now's 1990 Ford Mustang Fox Body. Tyke Big? Overall, seems like a pretty sweet video game. GTA 6 will release in 2025, but only PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X Sheriff versions have been announced at this time, which likely means that the PC version will release sometime after it comes out on consoles. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support means the world to us. Uh, feel free to leave comments below with your thoughts, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, it gets till then. Take care and stay tuned for more information.